I've come out this morning to do a bit of photography and just to see what um, outskirts of Watford's like. Um, there's a the obligatory pylon over there reminds me of War of the Worlds, those big alien things with tripods. I know it's not nothing like a tripod because it's got four legs, but it's one of those things where it towers above everything else. And uh, I think it looks quite picturesque. And also the leaves are turning, autumn's coming, and it's lovely. I need to catch someone going up these steps or down them. I think it make a nice photo. Just got to find someone, hang around and wait. Great facility this. It's a massive skate park. I come up here yesterday when I was uh, going to Aldi. There's some blokes on it. I'm not necessarily saying blokes can't go on skate parks. I just found it a bit strange that um, normally it's for kids. But all sorts of age groups are using this and there's a small kids park down there. It is great being out. Just talk to the park keeper, nice fella and uh, taking a few photos and it's been nice. Fantastic, I saw some bloke this morning on his um, roller blades, bombing around the old park using these uh, flat, flat concrete paths. Majestic. Anyway, I'm gonna wander back and see what's left of this light to see if I can get any photos. I think it's a bit late now. Oh. Seven o'clock, and I'm on the move. Cheerio, Watford. That's all I can say. It's been an, it's been an enjoyable time. To be honest, I've been to B and Q. I've been to Aldi. I've spent a lot of the time shopping. Well, going to the shops and back. It's a fair old trip. Good. Well, 40, 40 minutes there, 40 minutes back. Depending on where I'm going, it could be 20 to 40 minutes. Anyway, I'm off and I'm going yonder, wherever yonder is, whoever she is. Anyway, enjoy the trip. And it's empty, how good's that? I like to offer open both gates, um, particularly when that ladder is on the right side and close to the stern. It's easier for me to get up. I know it's a bit of a pain to open both gates, but it means, well, it's ease for starters. Better for me, safer for me, and well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I'm not sure if I've told you that um, some time ago when I was with Dan, I, th I thought I was doing well by using half a tank, 250 litres-ish, uh, in two weeks. And Dan has a 175 litre tank and he used 175 litres in two weeks. So I thought, wow, that's pretty hardcore. So, as you see, I'm doing a bit of a water stop. And I was here, Watford area for two weeks and I've had in the past 24 hours a shower yesterday and I had a shower this morning and I've done two loads of washing this morning but before I did all of that I only used just over a quarter of a tank so I'm learning how to do things hardcore and that's the reason why I am using little electricity, little water, because I want the swingometer 
to swing from hardcore, so I've experienced it, to softcore, which I'll probably do in the summer. But if I've experienced hardcore stuff, um, then I know what it could be like if things get treacherous in the winter and you have to bed in because we've got ice station zebra that swept over the country. I'm not sure that will have ever happen, but if it did, I'm prepared for it. Again, you'll notice that the, uh, the chimney's not on and I've only lit the fire four times. And some of that was, well, not because I was cold, but because I wanted to get used to lighting the fire and all that sort of stuff and understand um, whether the wood's better than coal or whether coal's better than wood and how all that under, all that bit of understanding how to use a fire, how all that works. Um, I've noticed a lot of people use, you see the chimneys going, some less, but like I say, I wanted to do it hardcore and is it paying off? Yes, I think it is. It's a bit tight, a bit tight to live in. All this stuff on top. Fallen tree. asked me if I'm going through the lock and I said I was but I haven't seen them come up I'm not sure if they're still playing the trouble is you see I've left my boat open keys in, in the ignition hoping the boat will be safe I've seen her so that's quite good 
but I'm looking going back up this lock and the trees have changed in a short period of time over well three or four days I think that looks very picturesque especially with the lock open and a boat inside it it just looks lovely I need to get out and take some photos autumn time I'm thinking of putting out a calendar not this year clearly but for next year um, comment below if you're interested and um, when I set up this patreon eventually be a chance to choose which photos go on the on the uh, on the calendar I think it'd be very nice very picturesque very bijou very canelli yes like it and but I'm gonna once this lady's come in I'm gonna to have to empty that pound up there or empty that lock up there and give this pound some water because it's a bit low and my boat's a bit wonky so I need to move it I need to put some water in this pound. Comes a bit of free fizz. True to form, I went up the centre of that pound and went into the lock and Amanda's chore, if you like, was to close the lock gates as I prepare the new lock gates. She got grounded, so um, you'll notice now that the water is being opened up. That paddle was opened up to allow water to get into that pound that eventually floated her. It's nice to have conversations along the way. The country cottage as a boat. I still think that looks nice. I do. Lovely. Probably searching for the warmth next to the uh, next to the chimney, and a boat at a very jaunty angle. Although it does move, so it can't be that much of a jaunty angle. It must be just listing. This is a rather nice, rather nice property. Must be nice to live there, and it was nice staying here for a night. So I've teamed up with the, uh, the lady behind, nice lady, Amanda, very nice, I think we've got a lot in common actually, points of view and all that sort of stuff. This turned out to be a nice day, well forecast to be a nice day but it actually is a nice day as well which makes it easy
is typical. I've got the camera out and the birds have stopped cheeping and chirping. But this is the first place that I've heard the morning chorus. Okay, that's drowned out. By my voice, as far as you're concerned. And the drone. There's the A41 down there, which isn't that busy yet. But the drone you can hear is the M25. Bit of a dull day. And the birds have stopped cheeping. There was birdies in that tree talking to people over in those trees. It was lovely. I thought well, I'm going to go and get my camera. And then they've stopped. This is the view. There's the A41. Now this side, it looks a bit manky. And I've I've cut all this back a bit. Don't know if you can see it. With my shears. It's a great little mooring spot. It's in the middle of nowhere. Well, clearly not nowhere because A41, M25 and, and all that sort of stuff, but no boats. That has a massive advantage because then if I wanted to play some music, I'm not worrying anyone. If I needed a bit of battery power, I turn the engine on, not worrying anyone. The towpath, which is over there somewhere, the footfall's quite busy. But when people walk around with their hoodies on, as they do, their peripheral vision misses my boat. And I've seen some of them walk around and then headphones on top. Now, if you're going to put headphones on top of expensive headphones on top of a hoodie, what's the point? missing out all the sounds from your headphones. But that's what they do. Headphones on, hoodies on, walking, heads down, not paying attention, miss the boat. But some don't. And I wanted to, um, I've got some wood I wanted to use my chainsaw with and make some, make some little logs, make some little, get some loggy, woody things put on the fire. What's that? A batty bat. A batty bat. Can you, you won't, I oh, won't be able to, oh. He's all over the place. Okay, where has he gone? There, 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 batty bat. Where's he gone? There, 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 see him? Batty bat. Birdie bird. It's great. <laughs> Lovely place. Apart from the drone of the traffic. myself a chainsaw. I've given it a go because I wanted to make sure I could make the chainsaw work. I can and it's good. Big good. Before it rains. It's supposed to rain today at 10. Yes. Boys and toys and chainsaws and yeah, good stuff. I 
I like it, it's a good chainsaw. Well, let's put it this way, it does its job. Longevity, let's find out. I brought this um, this big bit of wood with me from the last from the last place at Watford. I know I needed a bit of a a stable base. I don't necessarily think it's stable for chainsawing, but it does its job for for the cold chisel. Just about. It's rock solid. I can't get it out. I can't. Oh. oh yes. Oh. Mm, light. Might turn that up a bit. Turn it up. There we go. There we go. That's a bit better. A bit orangey, but let's turn it down a bit. Oh yes. Fun and games with a chainsaw. Please don't tell the health and safety police. I know there should be headphones and a helmet with a mask and fingers out the way and feet out the, I get it. And oh, I'm quite, I'm not necessarily a big health and safety freak, as you can imagine, um, but I am mindful of the risks and um, anything can happen now, couldn't it really? Anyway. Yes. Um, thanks for watching. If you got this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, give it a go. Stuff like this. If you don't subscribe, you might miss out, as they say. Um, next week, some more antics on the canals. And um, hopefully, I'm going to push out Sandbag Sunday. So, um, something to look forward to. And until then, ciao, Papa.